All right, let's do two, uh, 32 and 2.1. So part A says find h of 1. So if we plug 1 in there, we're going to get uh, 25 minus 4.9 nams for meters. So we get 20.1. Now it says show that h of t minus h of 1 can be factored. So h of t is 25t minus 4.9t squared minus h of 1, which is 20.1. Now, if we put this together, we get uh, 4 uh, minus 4.9t squared plus 25t minus 20.1. And if this factors to have a t minus 1 in it, the other factor would have to be negative uh, 49t, negative 4.9t, because negative 4.9t times t is negative 4.9t squared. And this would have to be minus 20.1. Now, the only question is, does the middle term work out? So this would be plus 4.9. Here, let's see, did I get that right? Oh, negative 1 times a plus 20.1 would make a negative 20.1. So we'd get plus 4.9t, and we'd get plus 20.1 t, which is 25t. So it does factor. So now it says, figure out the average velocity on the interval from 1 to t. So that would be, you would use the difference quotient, which is h of t minus h of 1, or the slope, 1, over uh, t minus 1. Now, h of t minus h of 1, we just figured out, was t minus 1 times negative 4.9t plus 20.1 divided by t minus 1 is negative 4. 0.9t plus 20.1. And now they said put things in close to 1 into this. Well, since this is uh, these canceled, we can actually put in 1 and we get uh, negative 4.9 plus 20.1. If you put things in close to it, you also will get close to the value we're going to get from that which would be 15.2 um, and since this is change in the distance which is in meters over change in time which I think is in seconds this would be 15.2 meters per second and that's 32